This poor neglected little table has been living in my workroom for the last year and a half. I've placed things like polyurethane, resin, and even paint on it. I think it's time to give it the fun makeover that it deserves. I start by using my scraper blade to carefully remove any of the resin or the dried polyurethane that I'd spilled on the piece. Then I'm cleaning my piece with Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I just pour a little bit into my bucket with warm water. I mix it up and I start washing my piece down. Because I spilled so much on this piece, I'm gonna use a primer and I'm using Dixie Belle's Boss. It's a stain blocking primer. It blocks tannins, odors, everything. But since I've spilled many different things. I don't want any stains coming through. So this is a great option and I'm using the boss in gray. Usually if I'm worried about tannins and stains and odors, I will use two coats of the boss, but just in this case, because I know that there's not like huge issues, I'm only going to use one coat and that should be enough. For this lower section of the table, I'm using the color in the navy. I'm using my water mister to wet down the piece and then I'm gonna do two coats total on this. I'm gonna do some blending on the outside of the legs, but on the inside, it's okay to just use that dark solid color. On the outside, I'm using In the Navy at the bottom of the leg, and then I'm gonna blend it into antebellum blue. Keep in mind, this is only the first coat. My first coat is always a practice coat. I get to see where I wanna place my colors, which ones mix well. I kinda of get to practice my blending. Um, the first coat is not permanent, but I always blend a little bit on the first coat. It makes things much easier when I get to the second and final coat. I still have the table flipped upside down. And now I'm going to add a little bit of peacock. I'm gonna blend that into the section right underneath the tabletop. Peacock is a beautiful glowing blue, so that'll just give it a little pop in that area. And when the first coat is dry, I come back for the second coat and I just follow that same exact pattern for this. This time around though, I'm using a dry neutral brush. And that's just to perfect my blend. So you can see that the blending really comes together with that dry brush. I use a rag to keep, keep it nice and clean and dry so that the colors don't get muddy. And I just go back and forth and I blend those colors together. And when the second coat is dry, I can flip the table and then begin the top. Once the table was dry, I was able to flip it over. Now I'm painting the insides of the legs in, in the navy on this little section. And then for the second shelf, I'm going to use in the navy on the outside. And I will blend antebellum blue. And we're going to add a little bit of green in the middle. Now for the top, this is the first coat. And the first coat is dry. I'm not going to go with this so much. I want it to be a little bit more neutral because the transfer we're gonna use is so bright and beautiful. I don't want to take away from it. So I'm going to use In the Navy and Antebellum Blue on the edges and I'm gonna blend that. Next, I'm adding antebellum blue for the majority of the tabletop. I'm adding a little bit of the peacock just for a variation of colors, and then I'm going to add a little bit of green, and that color is called evergreen. Growing up, my mom actually had a koi pond in our backyard, which is really funny because we live in a major city and the backyards are not that huge. But um, my mom, it was kind of like a little secret garden. And at one point there were three koi ponds, <laughs> but she ended up making the three into one big one. Um, had them for over 30 years. We had just beautiful giant koi fish that she raised. And here it is, the beautiful balance transfer. It's just so gorgeous. And I thought against these really um, gemstone sort of blues, it would look so pretty with the oranges and the yellows. 
I cut out which fish I want to use and then I'm just sort of figuring out where I'm going to place them. Then I grab the little stick that Dixie Belle provides in the tube and I start to rub the transfer on. It rubs on and it goes on just like a sticker. See this paper that's still on there, I'm going to lift the paper and the transfer is going to stick to the piece. And there it is, the transfer is stuck to the table. Then I continue adding more of the transfer, more fish, more lily pads, more flowers, until I like the way it looks. Now I'm gonna use a really, really fine sanding pad just to make sure that the transfer is completely on the piece. And I'm actually using the sponge side for this because I just want to be really careful that I don't rip the transfer. But I'm rubbing it just enough to make sure that it's on there really good. Now there were a couple little sections where I ripped the transfer, so this is a super easy fix. I'm just gonna take a little bit of white paint. This is Dixie Belle's drop cloth. I dab it on where I ripped it, and then I take my pinky finger and I just dab it. And you would never know. When everything is dry, I'm going to clear coat the entire piece with two coats of satin. And for the icing on the cake, my last step is to do a resin pour. I'm using art resin. I just used a 50-50 mix. I'm not gonna use a lot of this because I don't want it pouring over the edges. I mix it for around three minutes. I wanna make sure it's completely mixed. And then I'm just pouring it on the piece. I'm using this little plastic spatula to bring it out to the edges. I don't want it to pour over because I just want it to go to that edge and I want to keep the lip with no resin on it. And any bits that did spill over, all I have to do is wipe it up really quick. If I had dumped a ton on there, yes, it would have went over, but since I didn't, I don't really have to worry about that. And all those bubbles, I'm just gonna blow them out with the blowtorch. I spend a good 15 minutes blowing out all the bubbles and adding just a tiny bit more resin where I see small divots or little holes. And here's a reminder of what we started with. It was just such a mess, this poor little table. And here it is today. I had so much fun with this table and I just feel like it's really fresh and it's a happy little piece now. It was not happy before. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this makeover. If you did, I'd love it if you subscribe and I'll see you next week.